What's up today guys? So another day of Magna fishing. Doing my intro from the vehicle. Gonna check a little spot here. Um, yeah. Gonna see uh, probably use the 1200 pound pull double sided magnet today. Um, maybe eventually today try to get to move around a little bit going to a few different spots. But I'm uh, going to try to see what I can get. Um, never been here before where I'm at in town. So there's lots of spots on the river we can go magnet fishing. But uh, without further ado, I'll get my gloves, get my magnet, and uh, get to clicking. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. So just a quick recap here. So far, sorry about the light. Got this little ring thing. Not really sure what that is. Some kind of ring off of something. Another piece, like a bracket of some sorts. Not really sure. Another piece of pipe. Looks like might be copper. And then this pipe here, sorry about the light, get out of there. Not sure, it's got some kind of end on it. Not really sure, but pretty long piece. And then at the end, it's got an eye. I'm not sure what that is. If anybody knows, please comment down below. I'm not really sure. And then I'll take you over to Bucket. Show you what else. Alright guys, so here's where I'm at. On this little catwalk thing here. I'd like to try to get over and hit that bridge right there. But... Yeah, so got some more finds here in this pail. Um, can't really see. Looks like a hitch, some wire, a little little coat hook, another piece of wire, and then this hitch. Hold on, let me see if I can grab it for you guys. I'm gonna put my glove on because it's kind of gross. Bear with me. I got this thing here. It's a hitch, an old one. It's got rocks all stuck to it. You can tell there's the whole Right there. But yeah. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna do a couple more casts here and then we'll probably move on to the next spot. So we'll see what happens here. But uh yeah, so that's my find so far. Let's see if we can't get one here with casting out. A lot of seaweed in here. Careful, it'll drop my phone. That would not be good. I'm 
metal pillar that would not be good so you got to be careful but uh yeah more to come stay tuned guys look at this guys i just pulled this up here check this out freaking piston out of a motor and look at all the worms If you can see them right there they're just all over but that's pretty cool makes you wonder how much of a motor is down there well, look at all those worms it's crazy That's a lot of worms. Huh, stay tuned. Let's see if we can pull up the rest of the motor. Alright guys, so just finished lunch. Back at it again. Moved to a different spot as you can see in the background here. So without further ado, I'm gonna get the magnet out and get to uh, clicking. Stay tuned guys. Okay guys, so gonna recap from the uh, magnet fishing adventures yesterday. Um, as you probably can tell, I don't know. It's the next day, I waited till today to do the recap. Uh, apologize about that, but uh, it's fun to show you some of the stuff. Um, yeah, the second spot that I went to um, in the same town, um, I met these two guys and their names were Marcus and Ryan. They knew who they are. Who they are. I'm not going to say where the town was or anything like that, but shout out to them. Um, I was teaching them how to do some magnet fishing, what little I know from me being a newbie as well. But So I showed them some stuff, let them use my magnet, and they pulled up probably half of the stuff that I got, so a lot of pipes and um they got two things that they took with them uh marcus i believe got an axe hatchet uh head um it was broken handle broken off but still really cool find and then uh ryan actually got a horseshoe so that was the first um i haven't even got one of those myself but obviously i let those guys keep them their finds so Shout out to Marcus and Ryan. Um, it was cool meeting you guys and hanging out, doing some magna fishing. Um, so yeah, let's uh, show you what we found. All right, guys. So I apologize if there's wind noise. I am outside here. I'm gonna do this quick. Uh, some of the better finds. Um, so I didn't get that earlier, but. From the same spot we were at, got a sign, old one, must have been down there quite a while, I can't quite make out what it says. Something about no parking from bridge to here or something, but uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Found another bicycle, old Huffy, as you can see, still has the tires on it, no spokes, nothing like that, but uh, yeah, I thought that was cool. And then you can see over here just a bunch of various pipes. Pieces of pipe. Um, actually, this one here. Uh, this one here, some kind of a big spike. And this part here, this piece of piping, as you can see, has a red light on it with some wires and then yeah thought there was oh and then there on that it's broken off here it came off but there was a little dial on here of a gauge of some sorts so if anybody knows by chance what the heck that was please comment down below uh, let me know be greatly appreciated 
um, some of the cooler finds. So we have here an old gas cap. That's pretty cool. Uh, a whole piston from a car. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, a trailer hitch. As you can see here, it's got a bunch of rocks that are stuck to it. But you can see the hole there for an old trailer hitch. Um, this looked to me like a piece of a ice skate. Found a lighter. It actually works and has fluid in it still. But the clicker sparker is seized but I did use another lighter and it does work still fluid comes out of it and then we have an old what's left of an old roller skate that's pretty cool you know that's old it's still got metal wheels on it a couple pedals two different ones obviously from two different bikes and then a master lock. Uh, actually, Ryan, I believe, got the lock. So kudos to him. And then just a pail full of various other scrap pieces, this and that. And I believe this is a fence post top. Some couple of rings. Not sure what all that is, but and then this looks like a chain link fence hitch or clamp. And then I'm not sure what this is. I was talking to a guy there that actually thought that this might be an old battery box. And then this piece of metal here, I don't know, it's got like cutouts on it for like teeth. So I'm not sure what that could be. Um, and then this piece here. Actually. Is another piece. To. The favorite finds of mine. And I will show you those right now. So let's go over here. Okay guys, so this piece is actually from, check this out, another gun. How cool is that? Looks to be like an old double barrel. And again, if any of you guys seen my last video, my first gun um, is the title of it. This appears to be older than that. This, I believe, is an old flintlock. Um, somebody said to me that it might have been like an old double barrel handgun. Or I don't know if this was an old double barrel rifle. I am not sure gonna try to clean it up a little bit see what we got going on but as you can see the hammers here two hammers and then if this is a release switch right here still has a trigger but this piece was stuck on the back of it somewhere in here I believe but I'm gonna clean that stuff up and then uh, I actually found my first pocket knife. If you can see that there. It's actually an old Gerber. Not in too bad a shape, actually. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then this is pretty sweet. Looks to be like an old wrench. 
So if anybody knows for sure how old that is or if it is a wrench, looks like it's for only square nuts. Not sure what exactly you'd use that for, but yeah, if you know, comment down below. Same with this. If anybody knows by chance from looking at this what this could possibly be, handgun, rifle, maybe even a date approximately. Got to clean it up a little bit and see, but that is pretty cool. As you can see, it's been down there for a long, long time. So, yeah, so that's pretty cool. So those were the finds. These are obviously some of the favorites. The gun, the wrench, pocket knife, and like I said, various other pieces. So, yeah, if anybody knows what any of this stuff is, Please comment down below uh, the gun and the wrench anyway the, obviously the knife I know what it is but yeah so those are my finds pretty sweet hopefully be more to come and uh, yeah stay tuned all right guys so that's a recap of my finds um, again shout out to Marcus and Ryan it was awesome hanging out magna fishing with you guys. Um, hope I encouraged you guys to get your own magnets and get out and get do some magna fishing. Um, other than that, uh, that's going to do it for today. Um, and again, uh, you know, looking for a hobby, pick up some magna fishing, group magnetics, um, even Amazon, wherever you want to buy them, it doesn't matter. But uh, some of the better ones, obviously, Brute Magnetics. But, um, yeah. So get out and get some magnets and get some magnet fishing. And thank you guys for watching.